dear students i uh, will see the next uh, chapter it's a poetry the ball poem by john berryman an american poet so the title of the poetry and the poet's name keep in mind the ball poem by john berryman so this is a small poetry a simple theme is discussed here but the meaning is so deep and uh, uh, little philosophical you know, so you need to go beyond the words that means pay attention and try to understand what the poet is trying to tell through this uh, simple topic so a description is given before the poetry that is a boy loses a ball he is very upset a ball doesn't cost much nor is uh, it difficult to buy another ball why then is the boy so upset so a boy was playing with a ball you know ball is not very costly of course costly balls are there but there are balls will get uh, 10 rupees or 15 rupees or 20 rupees or maximum uh, 60 rupees or 100 rupees whatever maybe uh, and the people buy and give balls to children and children play with the balls and uh, here one boy was playing with a ball and he lost that ball and he became so upset he became so sad uh, it is not so difficult to buy another ball and it won't cost much also but why the boy is so much upset that is the question read the poem to see what the poet thinks has been lost and what the boy has to learn from the experience of losing something so when we go through this poetry we understand what the boy is learning from that experience losing a ball what the boy is experiencing or understanding we also must have played with the ball we also must have lost many balls and many other toys then from that what we have learned unknowingly that time slowly slowly those experience became part of our knowledge what knowledge we got by losing something that is what the poet is trying to tell through this poet now look into the uh, poem line by line we will try to understand it what is the boy now who has lost his ball what what is he to do I saw it go merrily bouncing down the street and then merrily over there it is in the water. So the poet was observing a boy who was playing with a ball and first uh, the boy was playing it with a ball and it was bouncing on the street. So sometimes the ball bounce, bounce you know, hit and jump like that especially rubber balls and all it just bounces and uh, goes so like that merrily bouncing very joyfully bouncing it's very nicely very actively uh, bouncing and the ball was rolling on the street and then merrily over there it is in the water a nearby a river or something was there and uh, bounce and bounce the ball went into the water now the boy is looking at boy cannot uh, jump into the water and take the ball he was looking at he became helpless looking at the ball with which he was playing for a long time and you know for children any toy that they play with it became part of their life means very close it will become and once it is lost or when, when someone takes immediately uh, they will become upset they it became part of their life means very close it will become and once it is lost or when, when someone takes immediately uh, they will become upset they will start crying and all that so here he lost the ball it went into the water and the boy is looking at that ball or where the ball has gone that area the boy was looking and remaining there he seems to be very upset no use to say oh there are other balls an ultimate shaking grief fixes the boy as he stands rigid, trembling, 
staring down all his young days into the harbor where his ball went so the poet is telling now it is useless to go and tell oh there are other balls hmm? there are other balls i will buy and give you other balls or you know, buy one ball and give it to the boy boy won't be happy the child won't become happy because if you have experience with the small children you will understand or you yourself must have played like that and when something is lost uh, which was very close to you very dear to you or whatever things give to you in addition to that or in place of that you won't become happy for at least for some time you will cry for the same thing which is lost so the poet was knowing that it is useless now go to that boy and tell that don't worry uh, there are other balls it is useless to tell an ultimate shaking grief fixes the boy so an ultimate it extreme uh, what is called shock the boy got unexpectedly the ball bounced and went into the water and uh, the boy was fixed there in a shock was not able to move stands there rigid rigid means uh, very stiff without any movement trembling a little shivering also was there mm, so staring down looking very keenly at uh, or gazing at the uh, place where the uh, ball has gone so that is a harbor harbor you know means a place where boats and uh, uh, other uh, uh, ships and all comes that area only and uh, all his uh, childhood is spent there he uh, knows very well that place and that river and all that whatever may be a river or whatever it is not mentioned there anyway it is a harbor so that place is well known to the boy and he is remaining there looking at the uh, place where the ball has gone or to that water he was looking and remaining there and from his look we can understand he is so upset and that is being ex expressed through his body language and his look and everything and the poet was observing all that i would not intrude on him the poet is telling i won't intrude intrude means go and disturb him at that moment so or enter into that situation and disturb him hmm? intrude intrude is a good word intruder it is a good word you know in the what is called in the border and all sometime uh, intro intruders come terrorist and all. they intrude into our uh, country and all. so sometime news you may see an intruder was killed by the force and like that you may get uh, some news and all. so intrude is a good word so intrude means uh, get into a person's place without permission so or without being invited entering into someone else place that is called intrude so the poet is thinking that now i won't disturb him i won't disturb him or uh, i won't enter into that situation or go near to him a dime another ball is worthless so he is telling a dime a dime means 10 cents one cent you know 100 cent is one dollar so 10 cent uh, are called one dime so that means little money giving him some money another ball is worthless now going and disturbing him telling him take this much money and go and buy another ball or buy and give another ball it won't comfort the boy it is worthless worthless means useless now he senses first responsibility in a world of possessions so the poet is allowing the boy to understand something through that experience he lost his ball and he is remaining there he is so sad and the poet is telling now the uh, the boy is sensing something he is understanding something what is that the first responsibility in a world of possessions so in this world we possess many things we own many things we buy many things and we keep it for ourselves many things but when we keep something for ourselves when we buy something when we own something we have got a responsibility what is that responsibility 
you need to take care that thing otherwise it will be lost this understanding the boy is automatically getting or through that experience the boy is getting a sense that in this world of possession if i own something it is my responsibility to take care otherwise it will be lost the boy may not be getting exactly this knowledge but the poet is telling his experience experience is teaching him so like that in childhood when we lost many things maybe toys like that later only when we grew up automatically this knowledge we got when we have something we have to keep it safe otherwise it will be lost from where we got this knowledge it is not that someone taught us but through our experience we understood and we take care automatically we take care our own possessions so the poet is telling the boy is getting a knowledge now he is understanding the first responsibility the first duty of uh, owning something in this world if you don't take care it will be lost people will take balls balls will be lost always little boy so uh, the poet is just uh, thinking mm, and uh, in his mind he is not telling to the boy uh, balls are taken by people children buy balls and uh, forever no child will keep a ball it will be lost and after this again ball will be taken again it will be lost uh, no child could keep one ball from his childhood till his uh, uh, end of life no one keeps ball is bought for playing and is lost so uh, like that just he was thinking the poet was thinking and no one buys a ball back and uh, no one can buy a ball back which is lost means another ball you can get it but the same ball which is lost you cannot buy back don't limit it with the ball alone it is like that everything when we apply everything once something is lost you may get another one substitute you may get but the the same thing which is lost you will never get back friendship suppose you are very friendly with a person and after became you quarreled and you may get another friend but the same friend you may not get it a person who was very close to you died so uh, like that the same character same uh, behavior you may get another person but the same person you may not get it again so anything that we own anything we have in this world of possession you cannot get it back once it is lost you cannot get it back the same another thing you can get it another substitution you may get it but the same original one which you have lost you may not get it that is what the poet is telling money is external money is always external the poet tells money is external this knowledge also the child is uh, uh, getting money is external means with the money we cannot buy certain things like happiness peace and all that so that is something uh, external money you can give it to someone else and uh, with that value you can buy certain goods and things nothing else you cannot buy uh, peace happiness uh, what memories all those things you cannot buy with the money that is what uh, the poet is telling by money is external he is learning well behind his desperate eyes so all this learning he is getting automatically he is desperate he is disappointed he is looking at that place where the ball has gone and looking and remaining and the poet is telling that simply he is not looking and remaining behind his mind some sense he is getting some knowledge that he is getting that uh, if you possess something in this world you need to take care otherwise it will be lost and uh, the same thing what is lost cannot be get it back and the epistemology of loss how to stand up knowing what every man must one day know and most know many days how to stand up so the epistemology of loss epistemology the science of 
uh, knowing or understanding what is a loss how to stand up knowing what every man must one day know and most know many days how to stand up and so many things the child is learning and how to stand up you know children they will lose uh, what is called the toys one day maximum two days they may cry for that may not be even one day everything will be forgotten and next day they will be all right they will accept that what is lost and they will continue their life so same thing only happens later on when big losses takes place when a relative a close one dies people will cry but up to some time they will adjust with or they will understand they are helpless they stand up they face the situation they continue their life so this knowledge from where we got it from childhood onwards experiencing lose a small small things we have lost and we managed we adjusted with that later on we understand that every man in life faces this kind of problems every man one thing or other they uh, we lose in our life and uh, we have to face that situation we have to continue our life we have to stand up and uh, we have to go forward so all this understanding the child is getting Uh, by losing a boy this is the thought of poet okay the child may not be thinking this much deeply but from our experience we know that now if we lose something we know how to manage or how to adjust with that and from where we got all this learning this all learning we got it from from our childhood onwards when we lost small small things automatically this knowledge was going into our mind that is what the poet is trying to tell through this poet hope you understood and now you can write down the summary and study well then you will get a more understanding and we will meet in the next video